All right, I just wanted to touch base with you guys about the response paper that's coming up in about a week. Oh, well, exactly a week. Um, I want you to read over Plato's Allegory of the Cave, which is about five or six pages long. It's located in Blackboard under the um, response readings folder. And I want you to also locate the assignment prompt, which should also be in that folder, uh, which will tell you kind of where I want you to go in terms of how to address this particular reading. Now, the, what these response papers are about is basically sh getting your a sense of your comprehension of the readings, because these readings are meant to, they're, they're meant to teach you something. This one in particular. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about the allegory of the cave without giving away too much information. First of all, this is probably the oldest um, reading that I have assigned. Uh, I haven't gotten around to assigning the Epic of Gilgamesh, which is the oldest text on earth. One day I will. But um, the Allegory of the Cave is probably one of the older readings that I've ever assigned, and it comes from ancient Greece. Okay, Many of you may have recognized the name Plato, a uh, very famous Greek philosopher. And also, one of the characters in the Allegory of the Cave who is participating in the dialogue is named Socrates. It looks It's spelled like it's Socrates, but it's actually pronounced Socrates. And Socrates was supposed to be the modern, the, the, uh, I'm sorry, the father of ancient Greek philosophy, which had a profound influence on the development of Western civilization and all that stuff. Okay, so the allegory of the cave was, I'll give you a hint. The hint is that it has to do with knowledge. How do we receive knowledge? Now, in our current time and place, we have a lot of platitudes about knowledge. You always hear, knowledge is power, right? You also hear things like, the truth will set you free, stuff like that. Um, but what you find, actually, when you embark on the true path to knowledge is that sometimes um, knowledge can be very disempowering. You can learn things which, which humble you and make you feel sort of threatened or small. You can, um, you know, you can find a truth that doesn't set you free at all. It, 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 it's so terrible that it, that it bothers you. And so this is an allegory that Socrates is, is participating in the dialogue for, and Plato is, of course, written down. And this, what is an allegory? An allegory is something with a double meaning, okay? So uh, we have one hand, it's a story about some dudes in a cave, which you're going to read, but it isn't really a story about some dudes in a cave, all right? There's a double meaning there. The dudes in the cave are meant to represent something. What is that something? That's what I want to know. And, you know, I'm not trying to put you under a bunch of pressure. I know it's kind of a complicated text. It's really old. Um, but I want you to think about how you receive knowledge, right? If somebody tells you something that challenges your worldview, how do you go about dealing with it? Do you simply reject it outright? Do you accept it? Uh, and how can the allegory of the cave show us something about the way human beings deal with knowledge, how we receive it? Um, how knowledge can be passed on. Um, so when you do your response paper, make sure you work very closely with the words on the page. Make sure that you work uh, with, make sure you quote from the source is probably the best way to do it. Um, and I will put out some stuff about MLA uh, tomorrow so we can talk about MLA format. I want you to practice MLA format with this. Make sure you have your heading and stuff. Um, I will put a link in the description to the Purdue OWL and their MLA guide. If you've never used MLA before, uh, they can have, they have lots of pointers, different things you can look at, sample papers, that kind of stuff. And it's a free resource. It's very cool to have. So I will put a link to that in the description of this video and you can check it out to practice formatting. But really what I want you to do is think about how this is an allegory about the way humans receive knowledge and what is, what is Plato by virtue of, or Socrates by virtue of Plato? What, is, what are they telling us? What do they want us to know? What can you learn from this allegory? Um, how should you apply this allegory to your education? Should you learn from the allegory of the cave? Uh, and what could you learn from it? Now, if you find at the end of the day that it's just too ambiguous and, and you really can't figure it out, I don't want you to stress too much over this, okay? Um, for one, these are philosophers, and this isn't a philosophy class. It is a reading, which is part of what we do. Um, but on the other hand, too, you know, uh, I really just am trying to get you thinking. I'm trying to get you to realize that there may be more to learning and knowledge than you anticipated. And uh, I think this text is an excellent 
um, is an excellent message to anyone starting out on the path to knowledge and starting out on the path to education. So that is about all I have to say. Like I said, don't stress yourself out. If you want to email me, go ahead. Uh, one last thing I will say, make sure that you're going by what is on the syllabus in terms of what you're doing for the class. I have uh, removed some of the assignments that were pre-planned in the class. I've moved some things around. So I want you to make sure that you're going by what I say and not necessarily by um, some of the stuff that's already in there. There's a lot of resources in, in Blackboard and they're very useful, so I like to keep them, but some of them have uh, links to discussions and things that we're not going to do. So it's very important that you just follow my syllabus and what I say in the syllabus uh, to make sure that you are doing what needs to be done. So hopefully this was effective. There'll be more content released tomorrow. Um, keep your eye out for that and uh, make sure you get your discussion board done by 11.59 tonight. Uh, the first one is due. I will post the second one uh, as soon as possible. And uh, you should have all week to work on that one as well. Uh, and then the response paper is due a week from today, 11.59. Take care, folks. These are crazy times we're living in. Um, and I wish I could see you in person, but hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we, we can still build some sort of, some sort of uh, friendship. And, and I hope things are working out for you. So have a good one.